My lords and ladies, geeks, geekerellas, geekulas, and geekeritas, I am Lord Bloodraw. This is Lord Bloodraw's Nerve Rackin' Theater, and we are here because we love creature features. The spirit of creature features in pools. And I want to bring out on this stage two men whose efforts have ensured that creature features will live forever. First, the official archivist of creature features, the writer and director of Watch Horror Films, Keep America Strong, a journey into creature features, and also remembering Playland and his latest effort, Back to Space Con, the story of the Star Trek conventions in the 1970s, Mr. Tom Wersch. Tom, thank you for being here. discussing the new host of Creature Feature, and it was going to be me. And that's when I fell off my uh, st uh, bar stool onto the floor. <laughs> I never dreamed for a moment. And now here we are, 30 years later. I guess the, uh, uh, the first major joke he ever did when he was still up in Sacramento, the first night he did a horror show, he had a copy of TV Guide. And uh, he told the uh, viewers what was on the other channels, because he felt that those were better movies than the one he was about. <laughs> Classic, absolutely. He didn't, yeah. he didn't think it was going to last. Uh, of course, it was just a one-shot deal. Right. And what, on a Monday morning, uh, all of the advertisers called up. It was a, a car dealerships, uh, I think in Roseville. And they wanted Bob to be fired because he had uh, put the product down. And so the general manager got onto the telephone and explained to them that Bob had the highest ratings of any television show in his time slot. And uh, the attitude changed very quickly yes, to, oh, tell Mr. Wilkins we'd love to take him to lunch uh, as soon as possible. Oh, yeah. John ran out of space in his office. Uh, he said, what that? So he said, here, Tom, take all this stuff. No. Actually, uh, I, I met Bob in uh, Reno. He was living in Reno about 1996, I think it was. And um, I decided to put together the Bob Wilkins scrapbook. And that was the very first thing uh, of Creature Features, other than John's uh, books, his Creature Feature movie guides. Uh, so it was basically things from Bob's spots. And it was a, it was a big success. And we, 
we brought it out at the drill, the very first drill. Oh, yeah. And because uh, Will had been writing Bob, asking him if uh, he would come down and do a show. Mm -hmm. So that really kicked everything off. And after that show, Bob said, we, you know, do we still do this stuff? Right. So then we went on, uh, John, Bob, and I, uh, sometimes yeah. John and I alone, I think we did well over 50 shows. Yeah, we were doing the Wonder Cons over in Oakland right. uh, when it was under a different uh, uh, different ownership. Yeah, right. They first started building it. Right yeah, and we uh, and we did the Will of the Thrill show at the Parkway a couple times a year. And one time, uh, do you remember Tom? Uh, we rented a limousine, and, and Bob and I pulled up to the front in a limousine, and they had a red carpet unfurled oh, at our feet. <laughs> yeah, well, watch, the film we're going to watch tonight, the first one, uh, I did that back in 2008. And it really just to tell the story of Picture Features, because everybody wanted to know all the ins and outs of how the show came together. And that was successful enough that the bug got me. And I decided, okay. well, I'll do another documentary. And I wanted to do Back to Space Con, which is actually my third one. Uh, but we looked at different things that were available and decided, well, OK, we'll do Playland at the beach because oh, right. Playland in San yeah. Francisco had been forgotten. Right. And, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So, so no, Tom, it hadn't been forgotten. Because all those people lined up to buy your DVD. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. They remembered it vividly. It, it, Broke a couple of records, I understand. Yeah, well, I premiered at the Balboa just about a year ago. And I remember just, I just had my fingers crossed that we would fill that theater for the premiere. And maybe the second show would have about half a theater. Well, it went on for 10 completely sold out shows. And they showed it on and off. Uh, sometimes five shows a day for six months. Oh, isn't it true, Tom, uh, Tom? Isn't it true that fifteen thousand people saw your documentary? Over fifteen. Over fifteen. Yeah, that's amazing. Right. Okay. Okay. How about the ones who sneaked in? Uh, yeah, that's right. Exactly. Uh, I, I just want to say one thing: is yes. that the most amazing thing is it played for eight weeks in Chico. <laughs> the theater in Chico ran it for eight weeks, and it had right, around Chico. But a lot of people from the Bay Area retire in oh, Chico, so okay. the theater wanted to show it, and people just come, kept coming back. They had sold out shows. And sit, uh, say one thing about the film tonight, uh, the first film, Watch Horror Films, Keep America Strong. Uh, both Bob Wilkins and Bob Shaw have passed away. Uh, uh, Bob Shaw passed away about two months after uh, Bob Wilkins. Uh, but what I wanted to say was, um, the day that we went into KTVU in the interview that you'll see here tonight with Bob Shaw, he was so excited about this film. It was almost like he knew that, you know, something was coming. And you can see it in the way he does his interviews. He was so into it because it was something that was so important to him. Creature Features was his life. And Bob Wilkins really was important in in Bob Shaw getting his job at KTVU, but just just notice the way that Bob acts in this film, and of course he saw the film. Bob Wilkins never had a chance to see the film, unfortunately, but Bob Shaw saw the film, went to the premieres and stuff. But he actually passed away two months after uh, Bob Wilkins at the age of 56. So um, it's it's a great film in that respect that I could really honor these two guys. Uh, with this film. So, Absolutely. enjoy it. And now, my lords and ladies, without further ado, I give to you the definitive documentary on our favorite show. Watch horror movies. Keep America strong. A journey into creature features. Correct. It was called the uh, Great Comics. Uh, no, wait a minute. That was another game board. This was called the, uh, the Monster Absolutely. Movie Quiz. Uh, Malcolm White was the owner of Troubadour Press in San Francisco, and uh, he later uh, created coloring books that were designed for adults and made a fortune. And this was a couple of years uh, just prior to that. Uh, we were good friends and we got together and decided to put together uh, the Monster Movie Quiz. And when the book came out, uh, Bob Wilkins, of course, wanted to have some fun with it. So he did a satirical takeoff on your television game show. And that's basically uh, uh, what Bob did. about to see here. Well, Bob wanted to uh, tell the history of horror films, uh, you know, because he had his popularity both in Sacramento and, and here in the Bay Area. And so actually at, at Channel 40 in Sacramento, he filmed uh, 
the Super Horror Show, uh, Bob Wilkins Super Horror Show, and um, they made some really great back sets for this thing, which you'll see, which existed for a while, but I understand that they were hauled off to the dumps, which oh. is a shame because oh. you'll see behind him some really cool uh, yeah, great artwork behind him. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's all gone, but. Oh. Uh, but it, it, on the movie Monster Quiz, what's interesting about that is, is Bob will announce it one way, but then on the, on the wall you'll see it says the Monster Movie Quiz. So they say it both ways. And so we, we've never decided exactly which is the right way. <laughs> it works either way. But it was on TV 1979. Uh, so it was after um, he left Picture Features, believe it or not. And um, I don't know why it held off for so long. Because you, you No, it was, uh, well, we, the book came out in 74. Okay. And isn't that when we did it, Tom? I, I think so, but the, yeah. everywhere it's listed that I could find it, it's listed as 1979. But, I, you no, know, it, it could have been on much earlier than that. No, no, no it, it, it aired uh, whenever we, the, right. the day after we taped, we taped it on, a, on a, what, Friday? And it aired the next night. Okay. So it, yeah, it was on. So it probably was rerun uh, in, in different areas at different times. But yeah. it didn't travel the whole country. Right. Right. That's what's interesting about it. It's three show. But now, my lords and ladies, without further ado, I give to you the world theatrical premiere of this great, great history of horror films, the Bob Wilkins Super Horror Show. Well, Tom was kind enough to bring some rare Creature Features prizes with him tonight, and we're going to raffle them off. And the first prize is... The first prize is from WonderCon about three years ago. We did a panel called Secrets of Horror Hosting. And it's it's a color photo and it's signed by Bob Wilkins, John Stanley, Mr. Lobo, and Dr. Goolfinger. Okay, we've got a DVD of Watch Horror Films, Keep America Strong. Oh, there you go. Film you watch tonight. <laughs> John, we need your young eyes. Eight seven one three one three. That's what I saw. Eight seven three one three. Ah! The winner is eight seven one. Three six seven. Yes. Three six seven. Congratulations. We will be showing the original Dracula and the original Frankenstein on the big screen. It's a big 80th anniversary show of the Universal Monster Films. Will you all be here for that? Yes, my lords and ladies. I want to invite you all back for that. I also want to invite you all to check out my monthly YouTube series, Lord Blood Raw's Tremulous Trailers, at www.youtube.com slash Lord Blood Draw. And while we're at it, join me in thanking the great Tom Wersch and John Stanley for being here tonight. An honor to share the stage with these two gentlemen. John says send money. Go to me there. Absolutely. And my lords and ladies, I want to thank you for being here and helping to keep the creature features spirit alive. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Absolutely, my lords and ladies. Don't forget, June 18th, Dracula and Frankenstein on the big screen right here at the Bell Theater. My lords and ladies, as you leave, I would invite you to sign my guest book. As always, I am Lord Blood Draw saying, Geek Out.
is Lord Bloodraw's nerve-wracking theater and realized you were going to be hosting Creature Features. Did you think that some 30-odd years, very odd years, later we would still be talking about Creature Features and that it would have the effect on the horror and sci-fi community of the Bay Area that it has? I never for a moment dreamed that I would even never become a Creature Feature host. Uh, in fact, it was Dave, it was uh, uh, my predecessor, uh, Bob Wilkins, who called, or I called him on the phone because I had heard he was going to resign. We are here because we love Creature Features. <laughs> the spirit of Creature Features in Ghouls. And I want to bring out on this stage two men whose efforts have ensured that Creature Features will live forever. First, the official archivist of Creature Features, the writer and director of Watch Horror Films, Keep America Strong, A Journey into Creature Features, and also remembering Playland and his latest film expert, author of the Creature Features movie guide. And I was a TV horror host and, of course, Host of Creature Features from 1979 to 1984, Mr. John Stanley. <laughs> As I said, you took over Creature Features in 1979, and we're going to see all the details about uh, how that came about in our first feature tonight. But I wanted to ask you, when you first effort back to space Con, the story of the Star Trek conventions in the 1970s, Mr. Tom Wersch. Yes, Tom, thank you for being here.